Hello. Hi, let's talk about a big concept. Um, so we've heard the phrase, probably you have heard the phrase, if you are on a path of spiritual enlightenment and development, you have most likely heard the phrase or something around being in the moment, being present, right? Being here right now. Uh, it's a beautiful book by Thich Nhat Hanh. I think it's called um, Be Here Now. <laughs> um, and also Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. There's a lot about now. Hey, Terry. Um, I messaged you and really sending you my best. I um, hope everything is okay. Um, well, as okay as it can be when we go through life changes. So actually, that is a really great topic for right now. That's what I want to talk about is most of us live with a fair amount of stress. We live with a fair amount of fear and stress. And we view that stress as appropriate because of reality, right? So say we know that bills are going to come sometime this month. And so we brace and we hold this stress because there's going to be bills. Or we know that somebody in our life, the relationship isn't great. So even when we're not with them, we hold this tension and stress. But here's the thing about that type of reality is that is that might be real in the broader construct, but it is not real in the present moment, meaning it's a perceived reality in the present now. So I know that the mail will come tomorrow. And, and let's, for example, say that I was waiting for um, like a, what is it called when you're served, like your served papers. So say that I knew somebody was suing me or whatever and sending me some papers and and I knew that was going to happen over the next some time in the future but in this present reality right now that's a perceived reality that's going to happen it's a perceived stress it's not happening right this minute so right this minute that stress does not exist which means right this minute we can drop hey Jess we can drop a lot of the the tension because if you look around I'm guessing you're not in a crisis right this minute, not a physical crisis at least. So stress is a physical response to an aberration in your environment. And that's a pretty big definition, right? Any aberration in your environment, which means lights flashing, phone beeping, car driving by, your body has a very natural stress response. The thing is we want to come down from the stress response, but when our our lives are either constantly coming at us or the mind continues to say the stress is there, the body doesn't come down. So we want to use our own mind to come actually into reality instead of perceived reality. So this reality right now, I'd love you to just glance around. If you're in a space where you can do that, glance around. Are you okay? Are you breathing? Are you safe? Are you relatively comfortable? Have you eaten? You know, I'm assuming if you have time to watch a Facebook Live that you're pretty safe and that you're pretty comfortable and you're not in the middle of a crisis. And if you are, please stop watching this live and go get help. <laughs> you know, so, if, so then this reality, this reality where we're breathing, we're watching, we're connecting, we're here in this space, in this moment, all is well. You're okay you're safe, you're well, you're fine, you're whole. So the stress that we're bracing against is perceived reality, not real reality, right? Because the reality is we're okay. We're okay right now in this moment. So when the mind gets spun up in the stress of what's coming and what's going to be and what's going to happen and oh my gosh, I'm stressed about that and I'm bracing against the past because can you believe I did that and can you believe that happened and I can't believe that person. None of those are right now. Right now, we tune in with the breath, we tune in with the body, we look around, we double check, we go, oh, actually, I'm okay. All is well right now. And this is the first most powerful thing we can do to use now in our lives. We use now to drop the tension and to drop the struggle. The second most powerful thing that comes out of that is that chances are all of the things that we're perceiving as going to be stresses in the future are going to be made worse if we show up in them with perceived stress already embedded in ourselves, right? So we're actually making our own lives worse by holding on to this stress and tension of our perception of reality, 
our perception of the moment, not the reality of the moment. So when you come into the now and go, all is well, wow, all is well. I'm actually okay right now. I'm not starving. I'm not homeless. I'm not out of the car. I'm not struck. You know, like in this moment right now, are you struggling? Are you breathing? Are you physically fighting somebody? In this moment, are you desperate? Are you struggling? Are you um, unable to get enough air? You know, this moment. Because that's the now. If this moment you're breathing, if this moment you're not, you know, your body's whole and sound and healthy, you're well. All is well. And that's a really powerful phrase that I keep saying. All is well. All is well. All is well. It brings us into this moment and we look around and go, yeah, all is well. That doesn't mean we don't want things to change. But if we're constantly fighting a perception that is not real, hey, Susan, if we're constantly fighting reality that is not so, then we can't make the changes we want because we're spending all of our energy resisting. We're spending all of our time resisting reality instead of working with it. But if we start in a place of actually I'm okay, so nice to talk to you. If we start in a place of actually I'm okay, in this moment I am complete, then we can take some action going forward. And more importantly, the action we take isn't going to carry with it the baggage of all the stress that we're bringing forward. So two really powerful things coming out of this. One, for most of us, particularly if you're listening to this, the reality of your existence is not something to panic about. The reality of your existence is that all is well. Because you have a phone, you have a computer, you have the ability to engage here, like which puts you in a financial status already. Um, you're breathing. You're hopefully healthy, right? You're alive because you're watching this. So all is well on a pretty fundamental level. And now remember, stress is a physical response. Stress is a physical response to an aberration in your environment that means the fight or flight or freeze system comes up and says, do I need to respond to this? Well, if you continually remind yourself, all is well, guess what? You don't need to constantly respond in a stress-based physical way to what you're thinking. So again, this is the reality versus perceived reality. The reality is your body's probably okay. You could take a deep breath. You could soften your shoulders. You could let go a little bit of this tension. But your mind is going, no, I can't because I have bills. No, I can't because I'm not wealthy enough. No, I can't because I still have to lose weight. No, I can't because I have this trouble in this relationship in my life. No, I can't because I hate my boss. No, I can't because my job is tense. And no, I can't. That's in your mind. The reality of this moment is your body's safe and whole. So let the body calm down. Let the body calm down. All is well, all is well, all is well. What you can't do or what's going to make it worse is if we take all of that perceived stress and threat and we brace against it, resist it, constantly fight it, and then every time we have an interaction related to it in the future, we've carried all that baggage with us and now we're making it worse, right? Like you get a bill in the mail. The bill is just, it's another now moment. When you get a bill in the mail and you open it up, has anything changed? Did like a monster jump out of the envelope and eat you? No, all is well. You just opened a different piece of paper with a different like thing in front of you. But in that moment, still all is well. So the mental response, the mental emotional response we're adding on top of ourselves is the problem, right? And this is how we get out of it. This is how we get out of that little pickle of like, well, how do I change my reality when reality is reality? Well, Chances are you're not actually looking at reality. Hey, Mary, you're not actually looking at reality. You're looking at perceived reality, which is a threat. So we want to look at real reality. And real reality, there's only one thing to look at. It's your breath. Are you breathing? Are you breathing in this moment? Because if you are, all is well. You know, if you're safe, let's forget happiness. If you're safe, if you're breathing, <laughs> if you got shelter, you got food, you're doing okay, all is well. And then we notice, oh, shoot, actually... I'm all stressed about things that haven't happened yet. Actually, I'm all stressed about things that happened before. But in this moment, they're not actually happening. Because right now you're watching me. Which means you're not in a tough conversation with somebody else. You're not in a fight or flight death situation. You're watching me. All is well. Take a deep breath. Let's breathe in. Let's breathe out. Right now, all is well. All is well. All is well. Let the body soften. You're right here with me. That's all that's happening right now. 
all is well. Deep breath in, full breath out. So this reality, the reality of right now, is all is well. It's just the perceived reality. And the perceived reality is based on future tripping and past, right? Future tripping is like kind of a jargon word in the, in the self-development industry about we take our mind to the future and we think about all the things that might go wrong. I'm going to not be able to pay bills. What if somebody gets sick? What if I get a car accident? What if so-and-so is mad at me? What, um, what's my boss going to say next? You know, that kind of thing. But none of that's right now. All is well. Law of attraction. Exactly. Let go. Yeah. But this is, this is how the law of attraction works. So people get all hung up like, oh, I'm just supposed to like want something and it shows up. And it's like, no, you li we have to shift the stress response in the body. We have to shift it completely. And this is how we do it. We do it by opening our eyes to reality. And people talk a lot about reality, like, well, reality isn't real and just see what you want to see. And we get all gunked up. Like, how am I supposed to see what I want to see if I, if, but, but reality is stressful. And it's like, actually, your reality isn't true either. It's perceived reality. And that's the issue, is that what you think is real isn't real. Because the only thing that's real is this moment right here, breathe in, breathe out. That was real, right? Next time you breathe in, you breathe out, that's real. The reality is that somebody's literally not breathing down your neck, right? The government's literally not knocking down your door. If it is, hang up, get off this call, go deal with that. And that's your moment then, right? And then stress is an appropriate response. But it's not an appropriate response to the constant state of mental fear of things that are not happening in the moment. That's unhealthy stress. And then you waste all of that energy fighting it instead of coming into this moment and making empowered choices about how you want to move forward. So hopefully this is helpful and love, love your thoughts on this. And Natalie, you just joined. We, we just kind of wrapped up, <laughs> but, but this is really the key and it's two parts. One is all is well right now. And that allows us to calm down and drop the stress. And the second part is that allows us to not carry that stress into the future and other events that are going to happen, which means they're probably going to go a lot better. So we're stressed about them now. We drop the stress by realizing we're okay. Because we've dropped the stress, we go into those environments later, being in the present moment, not the perceived moment, but the present moment, and then we probably are going to react better. So overall, all the stuff that we're stressed about is going to go better. It's going to go better. All is well. All is well. All is well. Hey, Billy, thanks so much for joining. We're actually just wrapping up. I want to keep this quick so people can really um, integrate it. So two major benefits. You're going to be in the moment, drop the stress, and then not take that stress into the future, which means that we're not going to perpetuate these cycles. And that's where we're getting into karma and things like that. But that's where perception is so big. You know? Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. And so many, the one little, like... I'll say it one more time just because I want to make sure that um, people caught it, is that a lot of times in self-development, we talk about using, creating your own reality, meaning like put on the rose-colored glasses, see what you want to see, and then we create that reality. And what I want to say is for many of us, that's very difficult because we say, well, how am I supposed to create a reality that's not true? Because look at this reality. And what I'd like to suggest is the reality that you are functioning in right this minute is also not true. It's a perceived reality based on a lot of fear, right? And if you feel that stress, if you feel like, oh, my relationships aren't great here, my boss might say this, I'm, I have bills coming. Alexis, how am I supposed to feel better when I have debt? That's perceived reality because debt is not a living thing strangling you right now. Stress might be strangling you right now or giving you the feeling of strangling, but debt is not actually getting up and strangling you, right? So it's perceived reality. So if you have trouble thinking, how am I supposed to envision a different reality, at least make the first step towards realizing that the reality that you're working with is perceived as well, but it's perceived through the lens of fear. And the way to get past the fear is the present moment awareness of, wait, all is well, I'm breathing, I'm fine. Actually, there isn't a monster that looks like debt sitting on me. It might feel heavy in the chest, but there's actually nothing physically sitting on me in the chest. You know, we use ourselves to... We use our, um, our own power of awareness to wake up and realize it's not true. And that what we experience isn't actually what's happening. And when we know that, then we can make different choices.
And then we're not carrying all that BS baggage into the future. And so those are going to, those are situations are going to go better. So when you actually do need to respond to something like a bill or a person who's stressful, in that moment, you remember how to calm yourself down because all is still well. There's just somebody yelling at you. That's on them. All's well. You're still breathing, right? Breathe in, breathe out. And if you just joined, please go back and watch the beginning because this is, this is good stuff. And uh, thank you guys for joining. It's so lovely to see you. If you have any questions or any insights on this or you've used it in your own life and gone, oh my gosh, this happened, please let me know. Let me know. The BS baggage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the next step, right? One of my yoga students said that today. She said, oh, you know, you, you said to me all is well a couple weeks ago and it's really made a difference. I feel so much more calm. And I told my husband and he went, wow. I don't have to be stressed all the time at work. And I looked at it and I go, yeah, now the next step is we stop taking it further. We, and, and all of those situations that we thought were so stressful actually get better because now we're not bringing all that stress into it. So chances are we're probably creating some of those situations that we're so worried about. And she looked at me and thought, all right, that's next level. <laughs> but it is, you know, that awareness that all of a sudden we thought it was everybody else, but it's probably just our own stress that's actually creating the stress because we already had the stress, right? You following me? So if we can say all is well and learn how to be in this moment, in the actual reality, not the perceived reality through fear, and not the perceived reality through future fear in particular, um, then we can, we can be in that sort of flexible flowing space. And this is how we move past karma as well, to take it to a deeper level. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'd love to hear from you um, publicly, personally, whatever you want. I want to hear how this goes for you. Mwah!